Assalamu alaikum class. Today we are going to start our fourth lesson of the topic number one. Syllabus is A level mathematics. Syllabus code is 9709. So let's start the topic. Now you know that in A level mathematics, lesson number 1.4, quadratics, paper 1. A level mathematics paper 1 quadratics we are supposed to cover today how we can solve quadratic equations and quadratic inequalities how to solve quadratic equations quadratic equations can be solved using different methods there are different methods to solve quadratic equations and the most important ones are we usually factorize if possible or we can use the quadratic formula which is applicable every time and the third approach is computing square the second and third method is applicable everywhere but factorization is sometimes possible sometimes not well it depends these are the mostly commonly used methods to solve quadratic equations quadratic equations using factorization factorization is the most commonly used and is the understood method we have done that in over levels many times we can use identities as well if possible in this question the example we have taken today it is not possible to use the identity so let's do the Milton break and I hope that you are fully comfortable with that. Taking common and further common. Now these are the factors using the Milton break. Now we are going to equate each factor to zero. And finally, we have our final answers. X is four and minus one. Now this process of solving the quadratic equation is known as factorization. Now second method to solve quadratic equation is quadratic formula minus b plus minus b square minus 4 ac under the square root all divided by 2a now let's solve the same example again now in this question a is 1 b is minus 3 and c is minus 4 let's plug in the values in the quadratic formula and then simplify taking the square root of 5, 25 and then simplify it further so we have the same roots, same answers, same answer using the factorization and same answer using the quadratic formula. The third method is completing square. Taking the same example again, we transfer the constant to right hand side and then we use the same process as we have done in sketching then when we have learned how to convert a standard equation into a vertex form what was that method the first step was coefficient of x square should be 1 is it 1 yes it is already 1 and what is coefficient of x it is 3 what is half of 3 3 over 2 so we will add 3 over 2's square on both end on both sides left hand side and right hand side now as a result now this left hand side becomes a square b square and 2ab so left hand side is a perfect square now simplify it now taking the square root of both sides we will have x minus 3 over 2 without square and right hand side would become 5 over 2 plus minus so we write it plus 5 over 2 and minus 5 over 2 separately and solve them one by one as a result we get the same answer 4 and minus 4 so it means whether we use computing square quadratic formula or factorization the answer is the same all these methods are generally used so all these methods are generally used to solve a quadratic equation next is quadratic inequality quadratic inequality is like quadratic equation 
but instead of equal to sign we have greater than or lesser than sign now let's see what are the steps to solve a quadratic inequality first of all we make right hand side 0 then we factorize the left hand side and after having done that we have three options first one is take the help of parabola or we can draw the number line and then find the corresponding range third one is again using the number line but plug in different values in this video we will use parabola technique and plug in values using the number line to solve a quadratic inequality now we know the rules how to solve a quadratic inequality now let's do one example this is a quadratic inequality first step is make right hand side 0 then factorize now after factorization we will use the first method parabola method now we have done our steps we have factorized the quadratic inequality and on the right hand side we have a zero now what is the coefficient of x square is it positive or negative because we know that if it is positive the shape would be u if it is negative the shape would be n shape we have studied that in the very first lesson now here the coefficient of x square is positive so the shape would be u shape and what are the x intercepts by equating the first factor equal to 0 x is 4 second equal to 0 x is minus 1 so the x intercepts are minus 1 and 4 this means when we plug in minus 1 the whole expression would be 0 when we substitute 4 the whole expression would be 0 and this is obvious from the graph as well that is when x is minus 1 the value of y is 0 the curve is 0 when we substitute 4 the value of x is 4 the curve is 0 now look at the other portion other parts of the curve now here the values of y are positive the whole curve is positive it means when the values of x are less than minus 1 the whole curve is positive and similarly when the values of x are greater than 4 again the curve is positive and what do we have to find out we are also interested in the portion of the curve which is positive so our answer is before minus 1 and after 4 that is x less than equals to minus 1 or x greater than equals to 4 these are the two different regions in which this quadratic inequality would be positive again we know the quadratic inequality let's do one more example the example is the same i've just changed the sign of the quadratic inequality previously it was greater than now it is lesser than so it means the process is the same we just factorize it as usual keeping the right hand side zero now after having done the factorization we again see what is the coefficient of x square positive the shape is u x intercepts are again minus 1 and 4 but this time we have to see the portion of the curve which is negative below to x axis now here the curve is below to x axis all these values because the curve is negative it means it is below to x axis for this portion of the curve the curve is negative it means between minus 1 and 4 the curve is negative so we will write in between minus 1 and 4 the whole quadratic inequality is lesser than equal to 0 quadratic inequalities so far we have learned how to solve quadratic inequality using parabola now we are going to use number line with the help of plug-in values let's do one example find the range of values of x for which this inequality is less than 0 first step right hand side 0 then we factorize it and now instead of parabola we are going to draw number line on this number line we will put zeros of the function that is the x intercepts the x intercepts in this particular scenario are minus 2 and 3 now let's label these two x intercepts on the number line now we have three portions 1 2 and 3 
three segments. Now let's focus on the very first segment. This segment exists for all the values of x which are less than minus 2. So suppose any value, consider any value of x lesser than minus 2. For instance, we take minus 3. Substitute minus 3 over here, we will get minus 6, minus 1. So minus 1 into minus 6, the result is positive. So by checking it for one value, we can say for all the values which are lesser than minus 2, the product would be positive. Now let's consider any value between minus 2 and 3. Let's consider 0. If we substitute 0, that would be minus 3 times 2, negative number. So it means for all the values in between minus 2 and 3, the whole quadratic inequality would be negative. Now let's consider the third portion. Take any value which is greater than 3. For instance, 5. We substitute 5 over here. 5 minus 3 is 2. 2. 5 plus 2 is 7. When you multiply these two positive numbers, the product is also positive. So in these three segments, first portion gives us positive values, third one also positive value, but the second portion that is between minus 2 and 3 is negative. Now what do we have in the question? It is less than 0. Less than 0 means negative. It means we have to see the portion which is negative. From the number line, it is obvious that is that portion exists between minus 2 and 3. So the answer for our quadratic inequality is that all the values of x which are in between minus 2 and 3. Now you have to consider one thing, one important point in mind. That is in this question, this quadratic inequality doesn't have equal to sign. That is, it is just lesser than, not lesser than equal to. That's why in the question, in the final solution, we have lesser than, lesser than. If in the question we have lesser than equal to, then the answer would be like this. X lesser than equals to 3. Now we are quite, now we are quite comfortable with the method. Let's do one more example. Find the range of values of x for which x squared minus x minus 6 is greater than 0 this time. First step is same. Right hand side is 0. Factorize the left hand side. Draw the number line and mention the x intercepts or zeros of the function. Now again, think of the value, any value less than minus 2. Let's say minus 3. For that, this portion is negative. Any value between minus 2 and 3, let's say 0. It's it's positive, it's negative, and it is again positive. Now you have to find out that in the question it is required greater than zero. It means we are interested in the positive region. Now we have two different regions, first one and the third one. So we will say that this quadratic inequality could be positive before minus two and after three. Because in between minus 2 and 3, this quadratic inequality is negative. So it means we will have two inequalities and we will write in between or or comma. Now let's do one question from the past papers. 2009 paper, question number 2 of paper 1. Find the set of values of k for which the line y is equals to kx minus 4, it's a straight line, intersects the curve y is equals to x square minus 2x, quadratic curve, at two distinct points. First of all, it is written intersecting or not intersecting. Process is the same. First of all, we will solve them simultaneously. We are eliminating y. As a result, the equation is quadratic in x. Now, what is the condition? Condition is that they are intersecting at two points. It means they will have two roots. We have studied our discriminant portion. So b square minus 4ac would be greater than 0. So at two points, discriminant is positive. So now let's substitute the values. And after simplification, 
we have a quadratic inequality. Now again, whenever we have a quadratic inequality, the process is the same. We keep right hand side zero, factorize the left hand side. And after having done that, we will see what is the coefficient of k square. Previously it was x square, now it is k square. Is it positive? Yes, it is positive. So the curve would be u-shape. And what is the variable over here? This equation is quadratic in k. So the variable should be k, not x. Now let's plug in the values. Values are minus 6 and 2. And we are interested in the positive portion. That is the portion of the curve which is above to x-axis. So this is a portion of the curve above to x-axis. And this is also positive to x-axis. That is before minus 6 and after 2. The curve is positive. Between minus 6 and 2, it is negative. And we have to find out the positive region because it is written greater than 0. So what would be the final answer? Yes, you are right. Smaller than minus 6 and greater than 2. I hope that we have fully understood the concept of quadratic equations and inequalities. This channel is all about A-levels and O-levels mathematics. We are studying in this channel O and A-levels mathematics, additional mathematics of O-levels and further maths of A-levels as well. This is your channel. This channel is for all the students who want to take help for free. So keep coming back to this channel, keep learning, keep smiling and promote this channel so that maximum people can benefit from it. Till next time, bye bye.